old tip. I'm gonna stay grand rise. How's everybody doing, man? Yep, I'm out, I'm down here in San Carlos, Mexico. It's a really uh, I can't even think of the name of just the city itself, but it's it's like a outskirt of a major town. You know what I'm saying? But it's got a lot of it's a lot of tourism and um, Canadians that live here in the winter in the winter time. Uh, a couple of Americans that move here and live here, but you know, you it ain't you ain't never really see them. You just know it by senses. You know. But yeah, man, they had a they've been partying the whole weekend here. So, you know, like most Spanish people are, are very religious anyway, you know, so and most of them are Catholic. So they had the um in the biblical shit, you know, Passover, Good Friday, uh Historia, Easter. So, you know, it's been going down. I'm talking about it's been thousands of people on this beach. I barely even moved around, you know, while everything was going. I mean, you know, I moved, like, to go get food. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind being in a certain a crowd. Uh, not 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 nationality wise as far as people wise like I'm an introvert it's hard for me to be around 10 let alone a thousand you know what I'm saying so <laughs> you know what I'm I just I just like hung at the van man and and um I just hung at the van and you know just watched watched everything you know. I, I left a couple of times to go get, like, uh, food or something to drink or something like that, you know, but I want hanging out, you know what I'm saying? I, I came up in the hood, so it was like, and I see in the eyes and, and in the dress of who was who here, you know, and it was a lot of them baseball cap glasses, you know, and you, I don't speak Spanish, so, you know what I'm saying, you never know what can pop off, and they talking, and you don't know what the hell they talking about, you know, you can see who like cartel kids, and all that kind of shit, cause they around here driving big boy shit, like sports vehicles, you know, <laughs> yeah, they got, got them Forty, fifty thousand dollar uh, four wheelers, man. You know what I'm saying? But not the one with the whole cage in it. And all that. You know what I'm saying? But man, all that fake shit. A lot of they be saying in America, it's dangerous. And, and uh, bro, I've been sitting in the same spot on this beach for uh, shit almost a month. In like ten more days, it'll be a month, man. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't ready to pull up out of here and travel on down uh, south a little further. It's a town. I can't even pronounce the town. I'm, I'm going to learn to pronounce it then. I'll tell you what it is. But it's a town where black people are Spanish. So during the slave trade, uh, you know, a lot of slaves, they revolted, ran into Mexico. A lot of people don't know this. They ran into Mexico. And the Mexicans joined ranks with the slave, the, the slaves that got away. So the slaves that got away created an army, like a military force to fight any European that try to come in to take anybody back in, to the U.S. So Mexicans and escaped slaves got together. You know what I'm saying? The black Africans and the Mexicans were side by side fighting against the oppression of the European. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a city where those particular slaves, and they not they weren't slaves, they were prisoners of war. Let's keep it real. Let's say it with what it really is. It was prisoners of war of conquerors who wanted the resources and needed workers. That's, how, that's what the slave trade was. But anyway... Um, yeah, man, 
So they fought together and, and defeated whoever came in. And then, um, so they got a town right below. It's right below Acapulco. So we might stop in Acapulco for a couple of days just to see. You know, probably ain't going to stay long because it's probably more expensive in, in the more touristy areas. Because really, like, man, it's cheap as fuck down here, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie. You know, I thought I'd been, I went through some money by now. I ain't went through no money. Like, I just really been buying food anyway, but, like, just buying, just just spending. Gas is the same price. The gas price is not different. They just add it up by the liter instead of adding it up by the gallon. So instead of you paying four fifty a gallon, you might be paying uh, one twenty five a liter. You know what I'm saying? It's, it add up to be the same shit. When I first crossed the border, uh, I had got some gas, and and I still was thinking in terms of gallons. So uh, I went off on the dude, man. I, was, I thought he was trying to play me. I'm like, man, I was like, bro, that's way too much money, man. You got me fucked up, bro. You, hell no. Then I started adding up the numbers and shit in my head and pesos. I was like, oh, man. I said, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. I, uh, I talked to you like that, man. I apologize. I said, I thought you was trying to play me. You know what I'm saying? But I was doing it on my phone. So it would translate so we can we could count that because if you can't speak full full Spanish and you in a Spanish country and I uh, now I even empathize and feel how they feel when they come to America and they around different people and, and why they vibe be how it be, bro. You the odd man out like. You know, I can't even really explain it, man. It's just like everybody around you conversating and talking, and you can't have no understanding of nothing they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, like, luckily, I I know just a little, and I'm picking up picking up words as I go, because you got to, because everything is labeled in Spanish. So you're going to have to know, to learn the Spanish word if you're going to be down here. And I'm only going further into more Spanish country. So I have to learn to be able to, you know, to speak. I'm going to be down here for a while. One, because it's cheap. Like, I'm not going through no bread. So, I, you know, I could probably end up staying down here two, three years before I would even have to think to come back. And then I still probably wouldn't have to come back to the States. You know, I might find my way while, well, by the time I hit Costa Rica. You know, chicken shack or something. You know, anything, man. Just I just want to live. I don't fuck working. All that hard working. I, I, don't, I don't have an urge and a need for the material shit that people, everybody else is fighting for. This is a journey. You laying on your deathbed and the only thought in your brain is I worked real hard. And nobody even cares or appreciates it. You just worked your whole life so hard to take care of other people a lot of the times just so you can pay us. I watched Two or three of my uh, family members, uh, mostly uncles, that worked two full-time jobs for 30 years to provide for the grateful and ungrateful. And uh, within five years, he was in the wheelchair. Within six years, the both of them was gone. You know what I'm saying? Because their bodies couldn't even have been so adjusted to labor being somebody worker that I mean they just was they was gone bro you know they never did get to enjoy one day of life they they probably squeezed in a vacation here and squeezed in a vacation now you know what I'm saying but and sometimes but you know I, I don't knock it that's just not for me you know what I'm saying? 
because maybe he, my uncle, uncle that took care of everything, yeah, he, he might have been sitting back in heaven looking at all the people that is happy that he took care of, that he sacrificed his life to make them happy. You know, so everybody got a different, I just, I want to live. <coughs> <clears throat> I want to do shit that they've been trying to put fear in me not to do. I ain't going to do no stupid shit like bungee jump. Y'all got that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to live, bro. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy some life. I've, I've worked hard. And I've also got it gritty. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to do it just continuously, though. Since America got here, all the rest of the countries all messed up. You know what I'm saying? I just go to one of their countries and, <laughs> and live nice. Because anywhere America go, there's not a European country. Boy, you better believe they dollar ain't worth nothing. They money ain't shit. I'm laughing, but, it ain't, but it's like with tears, you know what I'm saying? But like anywhere you go... Anywhere that America have gone, the they countries are just shit, man. And I don't mean they not not working and have cars and uh, I mean they dollar compared to U.S. dollar is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So why just just take a little bit of American money and go live big in one of those countries? You know, that's if you got the nuts to do it. Most people are scared to leave out their little box. You've been indoctrinated and trained to stay in that little box. But, you know, I'm ranting. So, but yeah, I'm out here on the beach, man, still. Right, you can't see the water from right here. It's right over there. He's right there. They doing all the breakdown and everything from the last two days. You know what I'm saying? I hope that I showed that damn show them look. But anyway, man, I'm 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 glad whoever follow me, follow me. You know what I'm saying? Let every day be your best day. Don't never worry about nothing other people say, feel, or nothing else when it comes to your life. I'm not saying dismiss how people feel it. I'm saying when it comes to your life, every decision you make, you gonna suffer the consequences if it's something fucked up. Or you gonna get the glory to yourself because of what you've done and what you've decided. Don't let nobody, parent, nobody, control your destiny and your journey. Because everybody's journey is not the same. I can live a certain way and some people can't because they one they addicted to the uh, matrix, and everybody in competition for material shit. But and then two, you know, I take shower vans. You know what I'm saying? I mean van showers. You know, I fill up uh, two buckets. You know what I'm saying? Like when I ain't near a air place, they got a shower. I got two buckets. I fill up one with cold, one with hot, and uh, one with uh, clean, and the one I'm gonna get the soap out of, make soap, so forth. And I bathe, I stand up. I can stand damn this, stand all the way up. Except to like, just like, you see? Yeah, oh yeah, she got my fit, man. I got the, the old school. y'all can see me, you know what I'm saying, got the old school hammer pants, you know, yeah man, that's how I be rocking out, but yeah bro, I need to learn to edit and shit too man, cause I need to take that bush, a lot of that bullshit out. Moving the fucking camera around and shit. There we go. But yeah, man, like, 
I love this journey, man. My, I love everybody to be like, be careful, be careful, be careful. I, I done been shot at in the U.S. So, y'all talking like, I don't even know nobody down here. I'm more, I'm in more danger with people in my own city that I grew up with. They may be holding a grudge from 30, 40 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that shit don't, don't, it's not instilled in me, man. I don't have no fear of that kind of way. Like, these people ain't got no reason to harm me, so why would I? Which, you know, you might, if you if you get that feeling, you know, everybody got that intuition. If you get that intuition, it's something ain't right. Don't even get out the goddamn car. It's just sit in your shit and wait and see what if whatever you're going to do. If, if they're going to leave and you want to go in or whatever. But if you have a intuition that 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 energy rings the alarm in you when you know you're not in a, a cool situation. So you gotta I'll just learn to be listen to yourself. That's all really all it's all about. Improvement of self, self involved, evolving, being being you right here, right now today. Whatever you did in the past don't even exist no more. It only exists in the minds of the people who want it to exist. So they can have something to say over you. The future ain't promised. Tomorrow could be the last day. And I ain't talking about no God in the sky, uh, Jesus coming down on a horse, nonsense either. I'm talking about your day. You could die tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Some could, could clean up the whole planet. If the planet can clean itself, if you keep uh, mistreating it enough, it don't need it don't need no assistance, no God. Just, it was tsunami, tornado, earthquake. It'll do whatever it got to do to get rid of a of a, a civilization in order to repair itself. It don't need no help. You know what I'm saying from some deity. But yeah, man. You just gotta do you, baby. <laughs> you, know, you just gotta do you, man. You know, I'm gonna take off. Let's get down, start getting down this road some. I'm gonna uh, record, cause I know it's gonna, I'm gonna be in a lot of blank areas. I ain't gonna have no kind of, uh, I ain't gonna have no uh, 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 signal. You know what I'm saying? But comment, subscribe, uh, Share it, you know. Get me out there, and I'm going to keep putting in content. Peace.